Well, I've got to tell you a funny story about the mud. We have this project, if you've kept up with my vlogs at all, in Georgia. Uh, we, ended up, we ended up tearing down a cabin in the woods, and we're building a new house there now. So we're calling it the Cabin in the Woods Project. Anyway, it's one of the muddiest I've been, had in a long time. It's got a creek you have to cross, so even on a dry day, you're, you're going to have mud. <laughs> So I bought this membership to a car wash, right? Because so, I figured every time I come home from this project, I'll just run through the car wash and I'll keep my truck clean. Well, first time I go through, dude comes out and says, you gotta go wash your car before you can wash your car. And I said, you're serious? You want me to wash my car before I wash my car? And he said, yeah. So anyway, here we are. I'll show you what I ordered to help to take care of some of this mess. So I got on Amazon and I was looking around for like portable um, pressure washers. I wasn't looking for anything fancy and big and powerful. I just want something I can wash my shoes off and maybe the floorboard of the truck. And it had to be self-contained self and had to have a 12 volt power supply. So this was it. And this one, even though it had only had three ratings on Amazon, they were all five star. Anyway, it came with a bunch of things inside the box. Are you kidding me? You're freaking kidding me. My neighbors, I tell you what, if it ain't leaf blowers, it's freaking chainsaws. My God, I'm moving out to the freaking country. Okay, that's better. <laughs> we'll let some music from Barrett play in the background uh, so we don't have to listen to the chainsaw. Anyway, it came with this uh, little sponge, which you know might come in handy if you're washing your car. It had this hose that's about, it says seven meters. It's about 23 feet, I guess, something like that. And uh, the connections are, you know, symmetrical on each end. Uh, so, work either end. This is the wand or the, the wand thingy. It, it seemed to be pretty heavy duty. It had a plastic handle but what doesn't nowadays, you know, even my AR used to have a plastic handle on it. And of course I've sped this up because I'm trying to get through this part quickly. This brush turns out to be kind of wimpy. I, I used it a little bit. Um, didn't work too well. This bucket, it's funny because on Amazon comments or reviews, one of theirs had a hole in the bucket, this collapsible bucket, which I'm not sure what its purpose even is. I used it for a storage. I used it to store the, all this extra junk in. And um, so I'll be sure to go back on Amazon and note that. Um, of course, I guess in the shipping process from China. Here's the directions, they're all in Chinese, so. I mean, it's not like you actually need the directions, but the specs and everything. Um, you, you'll have to probably go on Amazon to get the specs uh, in English. <laughs> so, there's the sponge again, and this cloth. Uh, there's your power supply, and then there's the wand for the brush. and a little soap dispenser thingy for the wand and there's your uh, turns out to be a 12 volt to 240 volt or 220 volt which I thought was kind of odd you'll see in a second the pigtail on that that plugs into that it's kind of like an RV setup um, which is fine but you know I, I plan to use it just on the 12 volt supply for my truck you can see that cord, that pigtail there is uh, like a 30 amp uh, or 20 amp, 220 volt setup, which was a little odd, I thought. And there's uh, a fuse and some O-rings, some 
washers. Let me just give you a, a before shot here. You can see how much mud I'm tracking in the truck just from one trip. And the guy at the car wash saw this and that's what made him kick me out. So anyway, I canceled my car wash <laughs> membership and now I'm just gonna do it by hand from now. It's just costing too much money. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill it up. Okay, I am happy that right off the bat, it does fit in the back seat of the truck. Because the idea would be, I take this thing with me and then I wash my you know, shoes off before I get to the truck and the task of cleaning up the truck is not so bad. So let's see if I can move the camera to get in there. Turn it on. Okay, I heard it turn on. <laughs> Holy cow. It's got more pressure than I thought it did. And then that's really crusty there, so might get a little closer. Okay, you could eventually do it, but um, I think I'd probably have more luck with the uh, handheld, you know, the hose. But my first impression is not bad for a little pump. You know, if I had enough water and enough time, <laughs> I could get all that off. But right now, I'm mainly, I'm mainly just wanting to use it, uh, see how it works on the inside of the truck. I think what I'm going to do first is do my shoes because uh, that way it won't be so messy. I can see how much power. Can't see, man. Okay, that's working. I don't know if you can see that. That's working as planned on the shoes. All I'm trying to do is get these clean enough so that when I come home, I can walk in the house. They would be dry. It takes about 30 minutes to get back home from the job. So if I clean these at the job, they will be dry by the time I get home. Okay, hopefully that will stay there. <laughs> see here and this is the little brush that came with it it's kind of wimpy um, it's not really a scrub brush it looks like it's more worried about keeping her from scratching the thing but I'm just gonna try to use it to scrub the floor
definitely gonna have to get a new another brush because that one's just not scrubbing good enough. Okay, that's not bad. So what I'm trying to do is get it to where um, I can keep it clean enough so that maybe once a month I can take it to the detailer, you know, and get it really clean. So there's a lot of mud. Uh-oh, I think I'm out of water. Huh. Okay, the pump is running. I guess I gotta make sure you Turn it off when you run out of water. That's pretty good though. I mean, I wouldn't be using that much at the, at the job. And it was only half full. So, half a tank got that side of the floor cleaned out. It's pretty good. Okay, so I got her about half full. And uh, I don't think I want to make it <laughs> totally full because this lid doesn't have a seal on it. And, uh, I start sloshing around in there, but fits neatly into the back seat, and I'll be able to hit my shoes before I get in the truck from now on. Okay, so as we know, there's really no substitute for raw PSI. <laughs> so. used to do and I'm gonna stick the wand in there just on the low uh, on the low low pressure okay so not bad <laughs> That's as clean as I want to keep it on a daily basis. Like I said, I will, you know, this is the kind of thing where if you want to keep your truck in construction looking good, you're probably going to have to get it detailed every three months, detail cleaned. And so this is about as clean as I'll keep it. As far as my initial impressions on <clears throat> this thing, that's pretty good. I think. I don't think I've wasted my money yet. Uh, the nice thing about trucks is you got this power supply back here. I've got it unplugged right now, <laughs> but um, easy enough to plug in. The water, since the water sloshed out, just a little drop there. I may have to do something about that. That may have come in from the car wash. I'll have to see about that. But um, it's the kind of thing you're gonna have to take care of. You know, it's not like most of our tools in construction where we can just beat the crap out of them and they last a good time. The wand is pretty good. This is your adjustment here. Obviously I didn't show that. Um, I was in a hurry to get the mud off my, out of my truck, but the quality is pretty good. So we'll see. What I'll do is I'll um, use it until that project is over and I'll report back. <laughs> Until then, this is Artist and Tony telling you to keep your crap clean. <laughs> it's the artist way. <laughs> nice.